What's good everyone, it's Budger here, let's talk about the bazooka and how to get it gold as painlessly as possible. I know a lot of people look at it and kind of despair, but it's actually the easiest launcher I think we've had to get gold in quite some time, um, especially one that doesn't lock onto vehicles as such. So let's run through the perks real quick because there's, obviously there's no attachments so you can't really do much with that. Um, I was actually running Ghost for a while just because I was in Hardcore. Um, but it's pretty much your choice in perk one and um, just because it is such a, a stacked little section that it doesn't really matter and um, fortified's great especially if you're in hardcore and um, but ghost is also equally as good as you're in core and this is really the essential one and that is engineer because that's going to let you see enemy kill streaks and field upgrades through walls it's going to mark them in a red outline for you and that is super super important for pretty much every challenge Speaking of the challenges, let's jump into them. So first up you have Pack Tactics, which is 100 eliminations. It is possible, fewer and fewer people are running Flat Jacket because Perk 1 is so stacked, so let's be thankful for that. And um, You can get this done in Core if you were super desperate. Hardcore is obviously easier, um, especially if you're super accurate with it. But yeah, it's a, just a case of running around with it, firing and, and yeah, making sure you're anticipating enemies because obviously it takes quite a while to fire it. So if you can make sure you're almost pre-aiming a corner, you know they're going to come through, a door they're going to come through, it's going to be far, far easier. And um, it is a bit of a pain in the ass. You'll also pick this up passively if you run it as a secondary and maybe just take it out when you know there's someone camping in a room you want to clear out. And um, it is possible to rack up quite a few that way. It definitely is possible, not as many people are in flat jacket as the previous games. Um, hardcore is your best friend for this. You can do it in core. I got quite a few of these in core just playing passively like I said, but hardcore is definitely the way to go if you're kind of solely focusing on this I'd say. Um, but it's, it's a nice decent little launcher, it does a fair bit of damage as well, which is pretty unheard of. Um, it's, it's not too bad, I, I kind of enjoyed using this, especially for kills. It doesn't feel as frustrating, it just feels a bit long, is probably the best way to put it for this challenge. And then we have Surgical, which is kill or destroy 100 enemy kill streaks, equipment or field upgrades. This is sounds horrendous, right? It sounds awful. This is combined, so anything you kill or destroy. This is UAVs, counter UAVs, uh, field mics, ammo boxes, um, those little bouncing betty mines that people are putting down. Anything that you destroy with this will count towards it. And that's great because it means you can just combine everything you're doing across the challenges and get it over and done with. It's the sort of thing that you're not going to notice you're completing because you will complete it as other things go on. Um, you'll complete it as you kill aerial kill streaks, you'll complete it as you destroy your ground based kill streaks. Like, everything in this challenge is a product of other challenges and as a result you just don't need to worry about it if you find that you get to the end of all the other challenges somehow and have not completed this then it's just a case of keep doing what you're doing but it's not it's not something to worry about as such it is just a byproduct of everything else you're going to be doing with the challenge there's not actually a massive amount to say on it and then we have Predatory Ambition, destroy 50 ground kill streaks or field upgrades. This is super easy. The issue comes with it, it's gonna take some time to do. It's actually the last one I finished doing. This counts for field mics, ammo boxes. Again, there's little bouncing bay things seem to count. I'm um, not always, but I've had a few of them count where I feel like they probably shouldn't, so it might be a bit bugged. I haven't come across too many ways to get kill streaks. The only ones are the attack dogs and the guard dog. You can melee them to death. Um, it's like a two punch melee for the attack dogs and loads for the guard dogs, so I'd avoid that one if you can. Um, or a direct impact for the attack dogs, and that counts. Um, so do bear that one in mind. Otherwise, engineer, this is where it comes in clutch. You're going to see all the ammo boxes, all the field mics, all the jammers highlighted in a red outline through walls. You can run around and destroy them. I spent many a time dying directly after I've destroyed them or killing myself because they were so sparse at times that I felt like I hadn't seen one for quite a while. Um, and this was the last challenge I kind of finished. But it's not a difficult challenge, it just takes some time. And I feel like that's kind of the theme with all of these challenges. Is none of them seem too difficult, they just take some goddamn time. 
And then we have Reptilian, which is destroy 50 enemy aerial kill streaks. I know a lot of people have been struggling with this, and I actually put out a full video just on this challenge yesterday. Um, and I'll go into it in a little bit of detail here, but most of the details in that one I break it down kind of frame by frame there. UAVs are going to be your best friend for this, and essentially, as a UAV flies in, um, about a quarter of the way in, probably 20, yeah, about a quarter of the way in, it tilts in its flight path and it slows down dramatically. Now, if you zoom in with your bazooka then, um, and you keep that plane on the outside of kind of the circle of the sight of the bazooka, and then aim the middle of your sight where the plane's flight path is going to go and then fire, just as that plane kind of reaches the edge of your sight and you fire then, it's going to hit it 95% of the time and you will just rattle through these. I didn't have any issues once I got this down and um, it was super easy and it also makes the last set of challenges super easy as well. It is just a case of practicing. If you're unsure or perhaps my description wasn't overly clear, you can go over to the other video which will be the last one I uploaded and um, before this one and you can you can see it there I'll put a link in the description down below for it it is pretty easy once you get down and um, it's just a pain in the ass to actually get there and then finally we have dead eye which is destroy three enemy kill streaks in one game 30 times this is another one of those that is just long Obviously, once you've got the aerial kill streak method down, you can rattle through them because there will definitely be three UAVs in every game, um, and it's just a case of doing it 30 times, remembering to do it three times every game as well. Um, I was quite bad for just kind of getting locked in with whatever primary I was leveling up and forgetting about that. But if you lock it in, you can rattle through it pretty quick, I'd say. Unfortunately, they don't stack. You know, if you destroy six enemy kill streaks in a game, it doesn't count twice, which is a shame. But it is doable, it is just long, and this is sort of another byproduct of destroying aerial kill streaks. Is while you work on that, you can also work on this, and then as a consequence, that all feel, feeds back into that kind of collective destroy 100 enemy kill streaks, field upgrades, equipment, etc. So, a couple of the challenges are kind of I don't want to say null and void, but they're byproducts of the main challenges, which is eliminations ground kill streaks and aerial kill streaks which is nice because it kind of cuts it down from five to three and we'll take that with, with launches we'll take that and that is pretty much all there is to it it's far easier it's just a long long slog and i think that puts a lot of people off so stick with it it is worth it and we'll see we'll see how things go from there as always guys if you did find this video helpful let me know in the comments down below i'll be putting these out every day um, I've got the MP41 ready to go after this one, I just need to finish editing it. I'll have the knife one out probably later this evening actually, I'm not too far completing that. And then we'll just, yeah, we'll just keep rocking with it. I'm going to kind of keep the, the guns that I'm doing as I unlock them, it's just easier to keep track of for me as well. But if you did enjoy the video, give it a like, subscribe if you want to find your way back. Hope you all have a good day and I'll see you next time. Bye.